everyone, and welcome back to Element of Day in May 2018. What is this? No fancy location, no fancy costume. No, this week, it's a mini week. There's only three days of, of this last week of May. So I wanted to do something a little bit more casual, a little bit more intimate. You and me, no fancy stuff, no green screen. You and me talking about allotropes and oxygen and the ozone. Allotropes have always been super fascinating to me, and I did an episode a, a year or two maybe ago on carbon, and that's a really good example of an allotrope because carbon in its pure form can be both diamond and graphite, so two completely different substances but the same element, and that's what an allotrope is, allos and tro tropos, sorry, I'm Greek, so I always try to like say it the right fancy Greek way, allos means other and tropos means um, form, so other forms is what allotrope means literally, and so it's really the other forms of an element. And I wanted to talk about oxygen at first because we all know oxygen, it's something that we breathe and we're taught that we breathe it in and, and plants breathe it out and it's used for respiration and it's super important to us. Um, but what you might not know is that the ozone, and we know the ozone as the ozone layer, is actually an allotrope of oxygen. So it is pure oxygen just in another form. So that's what I wanna talk about. So it's worth noting that elements in general, they, they come in pairs typically. You don't usually find just a single atom of oxygen floating about or any element. They're usually together. So oxygen would be dioxygen. So two, not like oxygen, but two oxygen, dioxygen. It's the oxygen that we breathe. It's what our air is made of, although it's, it's mostly made of nitrogen, but there's a lot of oxygen in it and it's important and it's all in the atmosphere. So that is one allotrope of oxygen, dioxygen. But up in the atmosphere, you have O3, you have ozone, which is three oxygen molecules bonded together, atoms. Yeah, uh, that's my visual, that's my graphics display for today. And O3 is not, it's not really safe. It, it protects us. The ozone does protect us from outside stuff. Um, and it's very important to our atmosphere, but O3 in general is not something that we want to breathe. Although it's a little bit interesting because in my research, I did find that there is, um, there are these things like oxygen O3 treatments that happen, ozone treatments. And I'm not really sure how that works because it seems like there's a pretty general consensus that the stuff is not good for us. It's an irritant to your lungs. You don't want to breathe it in. But how does, how does it happen? How do you get O3 if you don't have atomic oxygen, which just means a single oxygen floating about? Well, up in the atmosphere, you do, because what you have is you have UV rays or ultraviolet radiation coming down and splitting dihydrogen, hydrogen, dioxygen into two. So you have O2, UV rays come down, it splits it apart. And so now you have these little atomic oxygens floating about, and then you have another, I'm gonna do like, here's like an atomic oxygen and here's like a dioxygen and they kind of come together and they're like, oh, and now they're O3 and they form ozone. You can also get ozone from things like uh, auto exhaust and other, there's other ways of creating it. And in general, it's not super great for you. One thing to mention about oxygen uh, in general is that it is a gas. It's something that we know oxygen as a, a gas. There are three primary uh, forms of matter. They're gonna be your uh, gas, liquid, and uh, solid, just as a recap. And generally, we see oxygen as a gas, but it's pretty cool because if you take ozone and you cool it down enough, something like negative 100 or something degrees Celsius, it'll actually form a liquid. And if you cool it down even more, then you will get like a blue solid. There's also an allotrope of oxygen, tetraoxygen, so that's four oxygens like together and you get that by basically compressing putting a lot of pressure onto two uh dioxygen so you have two dioxygens put a lot of pressure and boom you get four oxygens together that's another allotrope tetra oxygen and i like that one because they call it oxozone oxozone and to me that sounds like i don't know if, if there was like a a car powered by oxygen like um like facility with those like racing cars and there's like come to oxozone and like race our oxygen powered cars 
So maybe one day in the future that'll happen. Uh, they are, are actually looking at oxozone as potentials for rocket fuel and that kind of stuff. And it is a solid, it's a solid red color. And so that's interesting. And that is it for oxygen. I hope you have enjoyed this little pared down episode for Allotrope Week. I'll be back here the next couple days. So stay tuned and see you soon. Element.